Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm really excited to be doing this video with you guys because I have sunlight again, so that is really great. I don't have to film in my bathroom like I normally do for I Look Monday. Today, I'm going to be going over the things that I recently bought with you, so this is a haul video. I have a pretty decent amount of stuff. I didn't all buy it at one time. This is like from the last two or three times that I've gone shopping, but it was only like two or three things each time, so I didn't want to do a video on just like two things, so yeah. It may seem like a lot to some of you, but um, this was stuff that I needed to get for you guys, basically. Um, now that I've been doing I Look Mondays every single week, I've been realizing with my makeup collection that I spend a lot more money on face products than I do on eye products, so had to go get some of that, so we're gonna go over all that stuff right now, and yeah, let's get right into the video. So the first thing that I purchased was from Walgreens. Actually, most of, everything that I buy from the drugstore is Walgreens, so if I ever mention like CoverGirl, Maybelline, anything like that, it's from Walgreens. I used to work there, and I worked in their cosmetic department, so that is why I shop there. I'm super familiar with it, but yeah, anyway. I bought some of the L'Oreal Infallible Pressed Shadows. These are the 24-hour ones. I got two of them. I know I'm a little late on this bandwagon. People have been talking about them for a long time, but I finally decided to get two of them to try out, and I absolutely love them. Hands down, these are the best. I don't like. I don't want to call them pigments, like because they are pressed pigments. They're not like loose pigments, but they're definitely the best eyeshadow product at the drugstore that you can buy. The colors that I got were Eternal Sunshine and Amber Rush. And there they are, the pressed pigments. This is Amber Rush. And they're so pretty. I mean, they're beautiful. The pigmentation's amazing. They blend great and they stay on all day. This one is Eternal Sunshine. I mean, they're so frosted, so beautiful. And they just go on so smooth and very creamy and not chunky at all. They're really great. The next little group of products that I got on that same trip to Walgreens is from Maybelline. I had previously owned Asphalt, Gold Rush, and one of the other Maybelline color tattoos, but I got three more. The colors that I got were Caramel Cool, Pure Nude, and Inked in Pink. The Maybelline color tattoos, as a lot of you guys know who have tried them and watched reviews on them, are really, really great cream shadows for your money. Chanel makes some really great ones, but they're quite expensive. These, I believe, are around eight or nine dollars each. Compared to 30, that's a really huge difference. You can buy a lot more of these for just one of those. So these are something that you really should invest in. They're super creamy, they're very blendable. The two that I mentioned that I bought previously, like the Gold Rush and the other gold one, the two gold ones, they're a little bit chunky and they dry out quickly, so those are ones that I don't really like. But these three are super creamy. Pure Nude is very, very sheer. It goes on like a white, but it has a very, um, pink pearlescent shimmer to it, so it's very nice, but it's not like sparkly, it's just a sheen. Similarly, all the other two have the same finish, they're not sparkly, they're very metallic, very light refracting, but not disco ball-y, and they're very, they're just really pretty colors, and I use these as bases all the time for eye looks. The next two products that I got from the drugstore were Highlighting products. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie highlighter in Rose Champagne Glow. So the Fergie collection came out a while ago, and this is just a really pretty highlighter. I really like this highlighter. It's very pretty. It goes on very light. It's buildable. So if you put on a very light wash of it with like a fan brush or something like that, you won't really notice it at first, but if you want to build the amount of shine that you have, you definitely can without it being overpowering. This is very similar to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palettes. It's not as finely milled, but it is definitely, it definitely gives a similar finish, so this is a great alternative, and I love this. This is my second one, so this was a replacement, actually. And the second highlighting product is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. 
The product is in a pump out tube and it's this silvery liquid. And it adds just the prettiest sheen to the face. You can use this in combination with your foundation or you can use it to highlight areas specifically. This is a rather expensive product. It's actually one of the most expensive products they have at the drugstore. I believe it's around $14, but it is a relatively large tube. It's a little bit bigger than some of the other highlighting products that you can get from other high-end brands, and it's much more affordable. I love this. It's a really unique product. Yeah, L'Oreal just really does well with face products, so you can't really go wrong with anything from their face line. The next two products, oh, I guess these are highlighters too. They just didn't look like it when I was... <laughs> at them. This is a highlighting bronzer. These are two highlighting bronzers. This is from Maybelline and this is from Revlon. They are, what is this called? It is the Revlon Highlighting Palette in Peach Glow. So it looks like this. It has the strips of different colors in there and you can either use them individually or swish your brush around there to mix them. I don't really like this. It's a little too, it's a little too not highlighting and it's a little more bronzing. And it says it's a highlighting palette. This one says highlighting bronzer. They should really be switched because this is more of a highlighter than a bronzer and this is more of a bronzer than a highlighter. So it's really, I don't know. I don't really like this one that much. It comes off pretty chalky and it's a little too brown toned. If you wanted a highlight on your face, it looks like just really shimmery bronzer and it's not too attractive. So as you can see from the swatches, this one is a lot more shimmery and it's much better at highlighting the face, whereas this one is much more brown toned with brown toned bronzer with shimmer in it. Um, it's like a like discoed out NARS Laguna. I don't really like it. But this one is nice. It's not too subtle. It is a little bit shimmery. Um, so it's more of something to use in the summertime, but for the money, I think it was around like six dollars or something like that So it's very it's a good value and I like both of them for different purposes than they say Like this is not a bronzer and this is not a highlighter. So hey guys I'm so sorry about the change of sound my camera just ran out of battery um, And by the time it will finish charging I will run out of sunlight So I am recording the rest of this video on my iPhone. I hope it comes out I know the iPhone video is okay and pretty good, but I just hope the sound is coming out so the next two products that I purchased at the drugstore were two of the Revlon Color Bursts. I purchased the colors Fire and Adorn. Fire is a very, very true red color with a slight orange undertone. Not too orange, so it still does look red, but on fair skin tones it may appear to be a little bit more orange. On me and darker skin tones it appears to be just a red. Uh, this color here is a very, very pigmented pink with a little bit of like micro glitter in there that has sort of a duochrome effect to it, so I'll swatch those for you guys right now. And I love the the Revlon Color Bursts because they are super pigmented and super creamy. So as you can see, it is a very creamy consistency and very pure red and very dark, so it's very pigmented. And this is adorned. The next product that I picked up, I showed in my in one of my eye look videos, but um, I hadn't actually talked about it yet. This is the Stila All Over Shimmer. It is a liquid luminizer. I was super excited to get this because I've heard so many things about the Josie Marin Argan Illuminator, but I didn't want something that actually had oil in it, and it, when I tested it at the store, it was a little bit too gold. This is a little bit slightly toned down, it's more of a champagne color, and it is very, very blendable, so if you happen to add a little bit too much, if you just keep rubbing and blending it in, it will eventually shear itself out. I'm actually wearing it today. It's very beautiful and really nice consistency. So as you can see, once you first apply it, it's pretty dark, but you can just really nicely shear it out, and you get this very light, luminous shimmer. So I love this stuff. The next product that I picked up um, was actually from Birchbox, so I didn't actually go there. Most of my shopping actually is online, uh, so that's where I get most of the higher end things that I buy, or Sephora, but I buy it from Sephora online. So anyway, this is the Jouer Mattifying Bronzing Powder. 
Um, Tati, or Glam Life Guru on YouTube, talked about this, and that was the main reason why I got it. I had been wanting to try Julie's products for a very long time, and a lot of people said that this was a great product to first like get myself introduced to the line to, and they were right. It is fantastic. The packaging is very sleek. It opens up and has a full like mirror. Uh, I'm not going to blind you with it, but and here is the product. It is more of a warm tone bronzer, so if you did want to just have a bronzer to maybe sculpt out the face, but not necessarily make you look more tanned or sun, like have a sunny glow, then maybe you wouldn't want to get this and you'd want to get um, like NARS Laguna instead, which is a little bit cooler tone brown. But this is really great now that we're coming into the spring and summer months. I've been loving it. People have been asking me where I've been, if I've gone on vacation, and no, it's been this right here. If you put it on heavily or put it like just all over your face, you will see yourself looking a little bit like an Oompa Loompa, but if you use it just at the perimeter of your face, lightly around the temples and on the forehead, you'll get a really nice sun-kissed glow and it'll look like you just came back from Aruba or something like that. So I love this bronzer, it is fantastic and yeah, not enough good things that I could say about it. And I'm really excited to try more things from the line. The next product is not a makeup product, it is a body wash. This is from La Vanilla Laboratories. It looks like this. It is certified organic. Um, I've been really getting into all natural products to help my skin heal from its acne, and I've been doing that for the past year, and it has done wonders for me. So I one day was like just in my shower, and I was looking at my bath body wash, and I looked at it, and I was like, ugh, sulfates, like all just really like ingredients I couldn't read. So I looked on Sephora to see if I could find something that was just all natural, and this popped up, and I had never heard of the brand, so I decided to give it a try, and I love it. It smells amazing, and the vanilla, it smells like authentic vanilla, not like like vanilla candles can, uh, sometimes even Yankee candles can smell a little like machine, not machine, artificial. This doesn't do that at all. It has, it has real vanilla extract, lavender, coconut oil, palm oil, aloe, vanilla milk. What is vanilla milk? I don't know. But really great ingredients here. It's super moisturizing and it's amazing. And it also doubles as a shave gel. So yeah. Okay guys, so we are come to the end of the video and the last three things that I have to share with you are three MAC eyeshadows. The ones that I picked up are All That Glitters, Jest, and Wedge. I'm sure you've heard a lot about these three. They're very popular shadows, and that is why I picked them. I know that a lot of people probably have them. And now that I've been doing more I Look Monday videos for you guys, I've noticed that when looking at my collect my eye drawer with all the eyeshadows and whatnot, I have a lot of not very common like not very common products because I use a lot of palettes and whatnot. So I wanted to get a few colors that more people would have, so I picked up these three and they are very very pretty it took a long time to pick these three i was in there for quite a while and i'll swatch them for you right now all that glitters it's a very pretty frost peachy champagne color this one is jest it is a frosted pink with a very silvery undertone to it And lastly, this is Wedge. Wedge is a very good transition color or shape or crease color. It's just a medium toned brown. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching that haul and seeing the things that I have purchased in the last few weeks. A lot of these things I bought so that I could specifically show you guys how to use them in my next eye look videos coming up in the next few weeks. So I definitely am really excited to use some of these things and play around with them and then show you next week on Monday. And yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what kind of eye look you guys would like to see for Monday and what you think next Thursday's video should be. I'm thinking another haul, not a haul, but a swatch video. I have tons and tons of NYX lip products which are super affordable. So if any of you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment down below. I can never ever say that. Let me know in the comment down. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> so if that is something you guys would like to see, let me know in the comment bar down below and possibly I'll do that for next Thursday's video. And yeah, so stay tuned for what's coming up next and if you guys have not already seen my last Monday I look, I will put it right here 
And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.